This is Seven National News and in your top story, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, received a large gathering of Eid al-Adha well-wishes at Sabil Palace on Friday. Sheikh Mohammed welcomed UAE nationals and citizens of Arab and Islamic countries who wished him good health and prosperity before expressing their hopes for further progress and stability for the UAE. Sheikh Mohammed exchanged congratulations with his guests on the auspicious Islam, Islamic occasion. In presence of Dubai Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai Deputy Ruler and Finance Minister Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai Deputy Ruler Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Chairman of Dubai Civil Aviation and Chief Executive of Emirates Group, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Sayyid Al Maktoum. Also there to exchange Eid congratulations were other sheikhs, dignitaries, ministers, as well as heads of government departments. In a bid to reduce the number of fake mobile numbers paired with false owners, the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority warns that UAE service providers are entitled to cut numbers registered unlawfully. As part of the UAE's My Number, My Identity campaign, all mobile users in the country are requested to have their numbers listed under their names, as stated in a local daily. Officials have reported that SIM cards are often given to relatives or friends while leaving the country. These secondary users sometimes misuse it and accumulate large sums in phone charges. Adding to this statement, uh, Sultan al Mesmar, Deputy Director General of the TRA, says that both Eti Salat and Du are cooperating towards the initiative and have warned that circulars will be sent out for outstanding payments. According to a local report, those travelling could also be exposed to travel bans or even arrested upon arrival in any UAE port. Residents across the country and tourists visiting Dubai have until the 2nd of November to enjoy the Dubai 24 Hours Mall timings, which has seen much success since, its com since it commenced on the 18th of October. The initiative, which was announced by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, it's in response to the large influx of visitors, especially from the Gulf region, visiting Dubai during the Eid al-Adha celebrations. Among among the malls taking part is the Mall of the Emirates, which has so far received a positive response from both tourists, residents and even retail staff and mall employees. Horea Al-Faraj and her family, who have travelled from Saudi Arabia, state that this new initiative, coupled with other attractions the Emirate has to offer, are further attracting tourists from the Gulf region to spend their holiday in Dubai. Although the mall is not swarming with people overnight, residents who enjoy a less chaotic experience at the malls are also taking advantage of the temporary 24-hour timings. Of course, I think it's a very good idea to make the mall 24 hours because, uh, as you see, it's very crowded over here. Perhaps uh, the late hours is going to be more relaxed and more uh, less crowded. <laughs> I hope so. For me, I think... It since we are living in Dubai, so our time already managed to catch the timing hours that is suitable for us. But I think this is a very good uh, action, especially in an Eid vacation, which will be, I think, for visitors or tourism, will be more variable and beneficial. So uh, minimizing the, the let's say, the congestion in, in the parkings and the, in the ways to malls. You see the mall now, it's in a normal uh, stage, which is okay. Some people can finish their dinner or their cafe and then they come for shopping and uh, I think it's a good idea. Employees at the mall reveal that incentives have been made available for those working the night shifts, such as meals and higher commissions. Meanwhile, an employee herself, Shireen Mohammed, says that working early morning hours may not be for everyone. We have a podium by the cinemas, so uh, typically our hours are less than your typical average employee, basically. But because of the whole 24-hour thing, needless to say, I mean, we're working a couple of hours more than we should have been working. Surprisingly, it's pretty crowded, but um, I mean, because it's a new ID. But once the novelty wears off, I, I highly doubt that people would want to stay beyond 2 a.m., 3 a.m.